Hello and welcome to Divine Unisoul's 11. I am uh, Divine Sunshine giving you energies. Uh, I feel like uh, I guess because of the full moon as always because of my rising being in Cancer. So of course um, I have Cancerian um, energies within and so that the moon I'm pretty much energized with any kind of moon energies as well being Divine Sunshine. So both energies help to energize me <laughs> energize 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 anyway a lot of heart filled um things coming this way uh, i'm gonna do a one just about the moon just to tap in and see what these energies are bringing us uh and what's the lesson uh that they want us to kind of really concentrate on so with the moon energies coming in plus i also have a reading too uh, I look out on the community tab. I think I'm going to do a special. Um, I've been guided like a $14 special, either GPS, if you want to know what's going on in your life, um, kind of get a gauge as to is there some things Spirit wants you to work on. Um, I probably will also ask even your um, counterparts. Um, also guidance as far as what do they think that you should be working on in order to get union too as well uh and then also the divine masculine energies um love letter uh as well it's going to be a 14 14 uh 14 dollars special um that i'm going to run for the month of february um, and so because i think i'm getting guided and it was very helpful i draw some cards even on myself um, in trying to understand what did my divine counterpart say I still needed to work on, uh, which was interesting. They came up with three things. It was um, anxiety, which is true, envy, and also told me about attachments. So um, this has been very helpful. I've been really, truly been honing in on those three. And I think that that would probably be a helpful thing uh, as well for us on our journey too, as well as far as us having um union with ourselves because that's the first thing so let's look in to what is this boon oh that's a shooter um bringing to us as far as right now what is it bringing to us to see at the bottom of the deck it say bring love into the situation uh, which is that is good uh as well and it's got the aquarian and we are in the aquarius uh, energies, um, new moon and Aquarius, but we're not in that. Uh, so I think again, as far as like, to me, new moon brings on, um, a energies of understanding of starting something new, starting up. Um, just like I got a friend starting up a, uh, their business, a pop-up, uh, business. It was interesting. That's the first thing that comes to mind when I think about it is about how can we bring love into this situation especially this being the moon and leo leo is all about the heart and i know a lot of us feels a lot of turning uh of the heart a lot of movement and energies um as well in our heart space this says work through your fears and it's got the scorpio um uh energies right there and that's a new moon in scorpio interested what we're talking about and i did bring down my chart let me look at my cheat sheet what is the energies that they would need us to do when we talk about working through our fears so scorpio energies brings out the competitiveness so it would say work on our fears of being competitive work on our fears of being courageous being determined forceful being an introvert that means again this new moon is helping us to stop going so much within but to express without uh magnetic to work on through the fear and you, this is a new thing that has been brought to me which is again work through your fear because on the other side is fear is where you're supposed to be or where you're meant to be or where your greatness is so i would say that um another thing is uh mysterious Sometimes when we don't understand something and it's a mystery to us, we have a tendency to kind of let it be. Um, and so, again, instead of us turning into, we need to turn into like Scooby-Doo uh, and, and, and again, go right on into that haunted house, even if it's like we stumble across it like Scooby-Doo does. Uh, however, again, 
we need to solve some of this stuff because again a lot of the stuff that we have been putting off not doing uh has caused an issue that we something about us like really like it to be like the mystery it's the fun of it uh it's the possibilities but some of us are not taking enough courage to go into that haunted house to really see what is it if people are reporting that if they hear moaning sounds or from the house they might find out that hey it's some pipes or something is busting and it's really not as bad as they think it is that's what they bought to me and so what i'm thinking is is these mysteries and these things that we have left because we believe that the boogeyman or is something bad that's in there if we really would take time out to actually investigate we will actually see that things aren't really as bad as we think that they are um and the scorpio energies there uh, really uh, looking into and pushing past how powerful we are. I think um, when I think about that is that some of us are pure, uh, scared or fearful of what the real full potential of us. If we really would let people know how great we are, we might lose friends or we might lose family members or we might find that we have outgrown the actual space that we're in. Uh, and so that might cause things to be a little kind of scary for some. Um, for to be in that place and so we're using that scorpion energies that again the cars is asking us to draw on probing asking questions sometimes uh, for us we are scared to ask questions the probing questions especially when we talk about fear like why are we scared you know I think about it on the playground experience and that's one thing um, that Kathy D had pretty much had really ingrained and I took away from her uh, and that is again is asking until you water it down to the finite of what's actually the base reasoning as to what's going on. You know, why am I scared? Why do when I meet people, I automatically almost feel like I'm about to go into panic attack? Where is this coming from? What am I fearful for? Have they said anything to me? No. Have they done anything to me? No. Okay. Just them, what, what's going on? Well, you know, I just, just the fear of being rejected. Okay, where's that coming from? Okay, um, when I was growing up. Okay, well, when were you rejected then? Okay, uh, well, I think about my mother. Um, um, I needed her time and she wasn't there. Okay, all right then. And so, are you taking that moment to say it's everything that's in life? Yeah, I kind of am, you know, it's triggering out some abandonment issues in me. And so I figured, you know, maybe me talking to somebody, they might find out how I am and they might not want to be able want to stick around. And so that then that might trigger the abandonment if they really, truly get to know who I am. OK, or how powerful I am, you know. So that's why I kind of did my shine with people. OK, so now. Here we are, and we're getting down to the final of it. Sometimes those probing questions will water us down to really what's really going on here. As um, as uh, Marvin Gaye said, what's going on? Uh, another thing is possessive. Again, some of the things that we are really taking ownership of or really uh, possessive of is like we got to push past the fear like does anxiety have possessiveness over me or am I claiming possessiveness because again that's like a security blanket for me could it be my possessiveness of this person of me knowing that I need to divorce them uh, I'm just kind of again possessive by the idea of me just being with somebody and having somebody in my life but knowing at the same time, I don't really feel love being here. But I'm possessed by the idea of me being called Mrs. Or I have a ring on it, you know. Is that something I need to push past that fear of knowing I'm not loved here and move into something else. Another thing about Scorpio energy is resourceful. Um, again, pushing past the fear that I had a little kind of debate about that too in my life about someone in my life that I semi had feared about because I believe that they were more intelligent to spirit it brought to me say no, they're not more intelligent than you. They just have more access to resources and people have access to more resources can appear to be smart. But that does not mean that they are smarter than you or they're really smart. It's just that they are resourceful. So I was like, oh, okay. So again, 
pushing past the fear. If you don't know or you don't understand something or you don't have all the tools or the knowledge that you need to do, then make a commitment to go in here and, and research about it. That's the same thing just like what I had did me in the classroom. I was like, okay, I'm not really real versed on some of these things that happen in the African American events since I'm teaching black history. However, what I can do is YouTube. I can read up on it. And so far, Source has been really pretty much has been supplying me with all of the things that I need and tools for each unit that I teach. Something that's coming up, just like a scene on Hulu, they had the 1619 project. And I was like, oh, okay, this falls right in line with what I'm trying to teach. So again, the resourcefulness. Being scared, I could be scared and say, well, I'm just not going to teach that. I'm going to stick with what I know. I'm not going to go out my little scope of the, the general thing, the Middle Passage, slavery, civil rights movement, and y'all do a report on some things about famous people, black people, and that's it. It's like, no, we're going to push past the fear of what I don't know. And what I don't know, we're going to grow and get some gain some more knowledge. When we talk about the Sc our Scorpio thing, we're secretive. Some of us, again, about this secretive, and I, that's been kind of going on throughout all of the readings um, that I've seen this about the divine masculine and secrets or not really true. Secrets, again, to me, is about not living in your truth not expressing not living in integrity and to me again sometimes we don't do that we don't live our life in the uh, of integrity and of truth and we don't stand up into it is because again we are fearful we are fearful of the self-image we're so fearful of how people might um look at us uh, you know, and so and, and we put these limitations on ourselves. And so that's pretty much a big issue uh, with that. And so, again, strong willed to me again. So strong willedness, what we need to draw on is, I think, yeah, strong willed. Um, again, to me, that goes back to saying not knowing how powerful we are. We have to rely on, and that's what spirit keeps on wanting me to go back to really actually say, we got to rely on that we are strong willed about these things to be able to push past the fears that the situations or things that are presenting us with. Um, and so, you know, some of the shadows they're saying about in the Scorpio is being fixated on something like you dead said, and you're not open minded. I was saying these energies open your mind to be up to be able to see other aspects, other ways, other opportunities, alternative um, ideas or endings that like you're like, OK, I never did think of it that way. I never did think of me actually going that route, but that might be an alternative like I said early on my um, channel about being open to other soulmates or other again other ways in which you're connected in your soul to things because again like I said from the past life regression session I had with the, with the young lady they told her it's all about experiences experiences is about gaining data from each connection that I made, I'm gaining and I'm understanding, getting a new way of understanding myself and understanding the world around me and how I connect and how they connect to me. Jealous. Dealing with that. And to me, again, jealous is just a, for, a, a, a means of forgiveness of how great you are. Is taking out your assessment and your measuring stick about all the experiences that you had that your family have told you or parents have told you about what it is, friends, society, and taking out that measuring stick of assessing where you measure and where they measure. And then it brings out that jealousy because then, again, it might bring out where you're going to have that crabs in the, bar in the barrel mentality that you are you got to find some way to bring them down. Either you're insulting them, criticizing them, doing things of that nature that, again, is like I'm going to try to make sure that I level the playing field by doing something like a low blow or below the belt or thinking negatively to kind of chop them down and bring them down to your level. Watch that um, energies and then suspicious suspicious again because if you're suspicious that kind of is a way of your ego playing out to be able to protect you like no nah, this is really too good to be true like you know they really coming back it, it must be a reason like what's their motivation what they want from me you know all of that kind of things and that brings you down into lower vibes and it brings you more away and then closer 
instead of closer to your goal. So that's an issue. So right now, this is where the the moon energies is bringing us is to work through our fears and i'm gonna leave this card out and how do you work through your e fears they gave us a solution now, on the other side of that is bring love into the situation because if you go for through the new moon in aquarius aquarius is always energies is always thinking of ways of how to do things outside of the box what is good for the society what is good for everybody that's involved as i'm pouring out this water or i'm pouring out this either uh, energies on to everybody that's involved but also remembering that again i'm the source of it i would say again even in that aquarius energies to remember again uh aquarius is to me again one of their shadow sides is that they like to help out everybody else but then they forget themselves in the meantime or in the actions <coughs> and that's something that they've got to learn how to be able to even distribute it or even the um you know make sure that it's it's equal equally poured out make sure that the cup that you're pouring from from you is full and not on you running on fumes and empty and it's like that's all right as long as you're okay and you're pouring out to everybody else but then your cup is empty and then you say well you have left for yourself nothing that's the only thing that I would say a drawback about it, and that's about the Aquarius, is that I know in my life personally, they're always good to take off literally sh shirt off their back and say, I like, okay, I am grateful for my blessings and multiply and multiply daily. Good. And so, again, that's one of the um, notifications I get. So, again, so again, if I take this shirt off right now, you say, you cold. Well, what happens to you? I'm exposed. You've seen everything over here on social media now that cause a whole big stink now i say uh reader or advisor or spiritual or whatever divine sunshine call on youtube with her, bo her boobs out you know it's just like okay but I, but you're good but i'm not good and i'm gonna ruin myself in the process that is something again that i would say that um that in the Aquarian energies, make sure that if, again, the saying say, if I eat, you eat. Not you eat and I don't eat. Make sure it's evenly um, in that way that it's everybody's going to be e eating from the table. Okay? Um, because we are destined for what? 30 minutes. My goal is 30 minutes. Clear. <laughs> That's my goal. Because right now, through this energy is here, we're destined for love. I told you. Because of this. So things are in bloom. We're moving from the energies from the winter with the equinox to now we're going into the spring. That's bringing in a whole different thing. Things are blossoming. This is about the second reading. You know, my things connect. That I've gotten that is about flowers in bloom. Uh, and so this would be something in which we have to bring into our foreground and not in our background that again that the plant the seeds that we have planted or whatever we reap in what we sow the things that we have re uh, had planted to be able to give bloom in 2022 even 2021 is now coming into being into bloom in almost harvest time for us to be able to uh, reap from our harvest from whatever we have planted also this came into in uh, reverse which means we're moving into solitude and solitude means to me is and I've heard a lot of of um, in the next card on if there's adventure I believe that we're getting ready to adventure I don't believe and I don't feel because I'm an empathy uh, empath energy empath I do not believe that right now some of us is guy again and to each his own is different. It are uh, moving from okay, I'm single today, union tomorrow. I think some of us still through some of these energies that I'm even hearing from um, astrologers and things like that. And a twin flame, if I'm reading the energies that I'm hearing collectively, all from other readers, and things that's coming off through my timelines, so that kind of helps me understand trends and patterns that's going on, is that, again, it's still some work that's got to be done. And some of this work that's got to be done is still a work of one. 
um, and that kind of fears I heard something pop around here and we're kind of working into that next level of bringing somebody else you know again in order for us to have that union with our person we got to make sure and I heard that today even on K Moon um, thing which is again uh, Strazi saying and getting ready for union it all begins and ends with me I still have to have me together if I'm having a solid loving myself a, a expressing spoiling myself those things in my energy field I'm priming that whole energy field with all this good yummy stuff that I'm doing to myself I cannot do anything that's physics 101 but attract somebody that is doing the same things that I'm doing to myself so again if we're talking about uh, the attracting and creating union with your person if you are a twin flame or a divine unisoul uh, or, or a or a soulmate right it this still saying divine unisoul means again we're one soul uh but divine um again we are working into that new beginning of and in order for us to have that new beginning you know, and I can hear somebody say, alone again, all by myself. Don't want to be all by myself anymore. So, okay, yes, we are talking about, yes, a little bit more of solitude, you know, again. Because we got to make sure that we set and sell. We got to make this so we make this really a firm foundation. This is something, again, especially when it is good and we're talking about love and bringing love into this situation. We got to make sure that we have a really firm foundation and that firm foundation has got to be set with self. OK, so I'm going to look and see about as far as the energies and let's see what they're saying collectively. Uh, what is it that, uh, again, it needs to happen? In the collective and which one of the energies that we have to really work on the most with okay I got this one to the slide here so we got the four wands so that means our actions has got to be balanced and so I'm seeing here with the three ring circus and you know I read things the cards is uh, as empathic not as the traditional writer tarot or whatever with the four wands means that that's not how I read when I look at this this tells me to leave the, the three ring circus in the background all that madness and craziness and doing the high wire act and putting your life on or, or at risk trying to go from one end to the other end um, playing a clown um, doing all of that kind of other stuff there entertainer being MC making sure everybody's fun and being entertained at your expense those things have to stop and this is what I'm being drawn to we got to really get to the point that we're dancing to the beat of our own drum we're dancing to the own beat of our own tambourine tambourine to me you know is when I see it and especially like here in Chicago we have like a house music is big and sometimes you go to the house music events you see somebody have like a little tambourine in there tambourine to me is always something that's always been associated with like church uh, church sound it brings on the spirit it tells you like the pulse of the soul to me like like a, a instrument or a percussion uh, that kind of keeps it going when you hear that tambourine it's got its own distinct sound but it's always used in soul or spiritual to me when it's saying about that you got to find whatever this instrument that you have as far as within you that keeps the beat of what's going on and resonating in your spirit in your soul um, and so again I'm seeing two people dancing here too and they're both females again the divine feminine and all of that is going with the flow it's whatever you hear you know especially with tambourine you could do it fast you could do it slow you could do it on the upbeat you could do it on the downbeat you could catch right there in the middle of the melody of the song and that's like again I think about like 
Stevie Wonder, like the key of life. Being able to just stick right in there, whichever way you want to play with it, change your rhythms or whatever that's the flow and what your spirit is guiding you to do, you can do at that moment. But again, I'm looking at this. It's got the four of wands, that balancing act. Or whatever actions that you were doing, it was like a show or three ring circus of got like madness and chaos in it and allowing other people to come and be entertained at your expense. This is what I'm picking up again because I think about a circus and circus is madness and, da -da 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 and people running here, running there. And it's like organized chaos. But again, you know what you're coming there is for entertainment is again to leave all that into the background because what they're saying again in your divine feminine, like I said, I feel like right now the divine feminine energies is leading the way because it's about the state of being It's about a state of flow. If you're in the divine masculine energies, your divine masculine energies is doing things because it's expecting a certain outcome at the end. So if I do all of the emails and whatever it is for my business, I'm trying to make sure that everybody falls in line and is organized and I'm making sure that at the end of the day, we're still making steps towards our goal to becoming this great organization. Then at the point after I have done that, send my emails, talk to people, organize, you know, whatever, um, created accounts and things like that. There is a point where the divine feminine has to kick in and say, OK, now rest. Let everybody kind of marinate on what you sent and then let them kind of again express and see what actions that they take. I got to go into my divine feminine energies because I got to start getting into the flow of things. Let them see how things resolve themselves on their own, how they solve themselves on their own, how people act and react to what I've sent. So again, this is talking about holding on. To me, when I look at that, I'm looking at her eyes and I'm seeing how she is staying connected to source. Source is pure love. Like they say, bring love into this situation. I would think about, again, a lot of things during this time. But again, making sure that you're checking in your heart and saying, how, how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about what we're doing right now? You know, are you tired? Do we need to keep on pushing on? Do we need to kind of just let things rest? Do you want to try something new? Like really at check in within and ask yourself, no, no, let's get to the truth. How do you really feel? Well, I really didn't like the conversation. Okay. I kind of felt that you, we didn't like the conversation that went on. You know, is it something we could do something differently? Like, well, I really feel like we need to pick up the phone and apologize. Maybe it was a little kind of rough uh, there. That would make me set and reset myself right uh, within. You know, those things. Staying in touch with source, keeping ourselves in the high vibe. The star is about hopes and wishes and dreams. Uh, about this and whatever the situation that it is again it's saying stay connected that kind of remind me of my dad when he's talking about um one of the readers that told me when he passed on i said what's this message he had for me he said just keep your hands connected hold jesus's hand to me is the same thing like you're saying again throughout whatever you're doing this whole source's hand look to source for guidance look for source for support as you're going through this, as you're going through your hopes and wishes again, and in all things, make sure that you're bringing in love. So this is all again. And then go with the flow. Don't go into the divine master energy. Say, well, should, should I be doing this, 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 this? It really gets to a point like that spiritual song by uh, Donnie McClurg, which is my dad's favorite, which is to really just actually just stand this go. And that's another word he told me to just go with the flow. Wherever it is, you know, we have to trust ourselves sales that whenever we get in light led or guided to that where we end up to we're already prepared to handle the situation it's nothing else we need to do and if we don't you know forgive yourself or whatever and then ask the spirit and guides to help you so that they can bring the resources so you can be prepared for that you know um, because i know even with myself with anxiety sometimes me overthinking and over preparing or or overthinking you know what is this scenario happening and then i got to cook up another scenario and i got to do this kind of scenario once i start doing all of that and they say that overthinking that kind of pulls you away from being connected to source so that is something that you have to again 
keep in mind there that again that you are connected and always keeping yourself your eyes on the prize and keep yourself in that high vibe so for my higher selves here i said 30 <laughs> but you know i like to make sure we understand it uh, again for our higher self the guidance or from the universe are our guides <laughs> clear what do they want us to know as far as what this energy is being brought to us I know that. Can I have just one card? If it needs to be more than that, then I will deal with it. I see it is too. Okay. Okay, so some of us again are going to have to of guidance from the universe is we're going to start from scratch it's six when it comes to love some of us are going to have to again like i said three that leave that three ring circus in the background and start on your own and really start listening to your heart because again some of us has not been listening to heart we've been leaving that into the background and again it's like again don't be afraid since they talk about work through this situation work through fear some of us are scared to work from, to start all over again and sometimes it's good to do that i know that like a lot of times i was trying to make homemade yeast rolls and i know a couple of times my batches weren't good i was like i throw it out i can't really even go with that and i maybe throw out a couple of batches you know until it came to it that i was like okay i see what i'm doing wrong each time you experience something it also lends itself for you to get a really new understanding of yourself, a new understanding of others and how you connect it and what you really truly are made of. This starting from scratch, especially from love, don't be, uh, again, spirit is also guiding and saying that, again, what's gonna be brought in now is a newness. Your person might come in totally new. You gotta start from scratch. You gotta learn from the way they're showing up. You can't use the old ways out here and I got you and they say that's a message for you. You cannot use and think of them in the old ways and then also apply that into what's going on now. You got to again look at the situation even if it's a new person don't ever i mean my uncle said that don't compare them to the last one treat them brand new job situation if you have left coming into a new job scratch it again that was that job come with this one brand new you can take some good things that did happen at the other school that you was like you know those were really good good things good foundational things that i could take from the old job and apply it to this one but not everything and compare everything that's done either as well and say Psst, uh huh hey you again pay attention to maybe the littlest things i'm gonna look and see what this is i think that again it's trying to get your attention uh, because especially when this matters are hard that you might be in trying to kind of semi dismissed okay and let me look up and see what the book uh, is looking at. And so for some of you all of you uh, about that, again, excuse me. But again, I like to look at the book because sometimes it gives some extra clarity. So I said, Psst, uh -huh. hey, you, we'd like to interrupt this Oracle deck with a very important announcement. There is nothing to fear. Every single thing that looks ominous is but an illusion. That answers this card, does it not? It has no power. Zip, not a zilch. It's time to look your fears straight in the eyes and call them out as the insignificant poses they really are. So that that's that's right there. That's right on time. Uh huh. Hey you. Okay, so again, we got to push past, be okay to start from scratch. And I think sometimes that's, for some of us, that's where the biggest things are, is starting all over again, and we're scared. Uh, that's a job, uh, marriage, um, getting a uh, divorcing, uh, whatever, maybe even somebody's death starting all over again, and now you don't have the person anymore. That's, that's very scary. Um, as well so now what is it that again this energies are going to have a surrender into from this full moon 
It says surrender to drama. That to me is the three part of the three ring circus. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issues more quickly. Look like I've seen somebody, I don't know which astrologist has talked about that, say that these are some interesting times that are going to come up with all the planetary shifts and they're going to bring some things. So I would say what that is, again, stay centered. I'm seeing wolves in the background. So again, to me, staying into that long wolf that's why solitude would be good because you don't want to get caught up in the drama you tell them say the drama for your mama some of that's family stuff that's family patterns that you use it and you're pulling from and you're expressing some things that you need to heal and that don't have anything to do with me next thing is again to surrender worry so it says make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body Focus on the power of your heart and have faith the Spirit is guiding you always. That's self-explanatory. And then by doing this, what is what is the energies now changing us with these new energies? What's going to be the changes that's going to occur in our lives collectively? <laughs> Clear. Okay. Our finances, so right now they're working on, again, if we work through fear, especially like in issues that we're having in our money, those things, we just got to make sure that we're communicating and staying in our bliss to stay in, uh, in agreement with our heart. Retirements, so we're going to be retiring right now in this, uh, in this energies, old belief systems, ideologies, retiring for things or ways of life, understanding that, again, the message of starting from scratch. Is going to be a really tempting and something that we, some of us are going to really give a true adoption to as far as starting from scratch. Because most of the time when you retire again, you do have to start from scratch. It's like I no longer get up in the morning. You know, I have my routine. I have my coffee. I read my paper. I have my breakfast. Then I set off. I go to work. I don't have to do that. I can do everything that I used to do. But again, I don't have to go work. So now that's a whole new different routine that I've got to adopt. Uh, you know, no more to commute. So again, those things when we talk about retirement uh, is going to help us to be able to stand in our power, have uh, healthy relationships and connections, as well so as manifest those things uh, that we have. And it's going to truly move us into our bliss by retiring things. The universe says that we're also going to be working on grief work. That is true. I believe that again, those things that when we talk about really truly getting into our, um, what things truly make us happy, checking in with our heart. We're going to start seeing some things being released and we have to grieve over situations in which we thought were going to appear and happen in a certain way. That's where the divine feminine energies is going to help the divine masculine energies understand that again. Yeah, you work, 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 as Rihanna said, but and you expected this certain outcome or to happen or expected it to end some type of certain way or happen some type of way but it didn't and sometimes the divine masculine energies within all of us has a hard time to make that shift to the divine feminine energies which is to go into the flow of knowing hey these things happen this is just a state of being this is what i have again you observe what was going to happen it really to the divine feminine energies this is nothing that just sprung up on them came out of the blue they kind of observed that it was kind of the 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 wall the the writing was on the wall already it was just taking time for the divine masculine energies to kind of come into that knowingness so again you got black here which to me is about eliminating some things too as well understanding that you know it's everything involved like all hands on deck that has to be involved in that gracefully gracefully aging understanding that that's going to change some of us again is and i'm reading a book about that and i'll talk about that too as well about um dealing with um parents that are emotionally immature and how that affects you as an adult child dealing with a, a parent that is emotionally immature um and again gracefully aging some of us because of that um, example they have been shown to us through our parents but some of us have adopted that too as well that we don't want to spiritually mature 
some of us want to kind of stay where we are. I know word of it, excuse me, I know it's not politically correct. I remember, I think it was either Ayanna Van Zant or a church. I've heard that saying where well, it said, I'm spiritually retarded. Uh, I'm not spiritually retarded. Or like I talked to uh, my, uh, my friend, uh, and for, we grew up from um, Sunday school together and I told him he was talking about sometimes he go to um, little study groups and um, sometimes he say when he go to study groups at church some of the things that they ask him he's like oh my god you coming to ask about that don't you know that he's like that's really like basic principles 101 and I say yeah they coming in as babies in Christ he's cracking up laughing so with some of us we don't want to stay keep on staying babes in Christ okay some of us again it is time for us to kind of grow up go through the whole process of a toddler teen adolescent and then becoming an adult some of us again has stayed there and we got to learn how to not go into it kicking and screaming but go into it naturally that's again the divine master and Jesus is like, what can I do? You know, should I buy some skin cream or should I get my Botox or should I go get, you know, plastic surgery, you know, and you're doing that on a spiritual level, you know, let me not do that. I'm just going to keep on staying around people to make me young or whatever like that and keep young thoughts or immature, not well developed ideas when it comes to spiritually. It's time to really step into it. It's time to again do what you have to do so you can be able to spiritually grow and to graduate. This is what they're saying because again I got the color brown which is eliminating and then it's got yellow there which again standing in your power, putting up healthy boundaries to things that are not helping you to stop staying into that three ring circus and then red start and get grounded and rooted into it too as well. Sobriety, the last one is again, what is it that again that you've got to cut cold turkey about that you're addicted to it? Something about it as a sobriety to me is also uh, codependency what is you dependent upon that you got to really also uh, let go um, in this because again you got it this is going to allow when you that happens you're gonna be able to stand in your power you're going to be able to absorb everything uh, as well and then you're going to be able to get the true downloads of what spirit is telling you to do and move into your heart space I think about um, somebody said that about the downloads if you're in that sense of doubt or questioning things and you're not accepting things then that really stops for a spirit to really be able to communicate to you so it's always good for you to stay like i said earlier in that high vibe so these are all the things that again spirit is going to bring to you to create this change within your life uh with the new energies that the leo moon has brought into you so again i like to say um again thank you thank you for running across this message Thank you for those of you all that gave uh, a like to it. Likes also is twofold. Likes help my videos to be able to circulate on YouTube. Likes also lets me know, okay, this is more things that you want me to concentrate and to pour into uh, as well. So when I receive that, and then it's also just saying thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to pour into me and give me in, uh, the information that I might be seeking or need to help me on my journey, make it easier or make me know, Hey, I ain't crazy. I'm by myself. I felt the same thing. Something told me and here I come and I confirm it for you. So again, keep those things in mind when you are again, listening and you see those thumbs up down there at the bottom to feel led to click on it all right then as always stay uplifted stay motivated stay ascending namaste and namago love you until next time